In this video, I'm going to give a brief overview of the factory utility for Inventor for those who are new to the factory design suite, and then we're going to build a simple work cell to use in the factory mods demo. First, let's begin by selecting New Layout in the Getting Started tab. If you're familiar with Inventor, the first thing you'll notice is we've added the concept of a floor. This gives a sense of gravity to support our drag and drop feature that I'll demonstrate later in this video. Over to the left you'll see two palettes. On top is the factory properties palette and on bottom is the factory assets palette. If you're missing one of these windows, you can go to the view tab on top, select the user interface drop down, and then select the palette you're missing. And then return to the factory tab. If you look at the factory assets palette, You'll notice we've provided a bunch of standard factory models like conveyors and material handling equipment. For this tutorial, however, we're actually going to navigate out of this folder, which is the System Assets folder, to the User Assets folder, where we've placed assets specifically designed for the Factory Mods animation application. It's important that whenever you're working with the Mods application, you only use the Mods animation assets and not the System Assets. So now we're ready to begin building our simple work cell. We'll start by placing a straight belt conveyor by dragging and dropping it onto the factory floor and left clicking in the desired location. To finish placing the asset, you can type in the desired angle and press the enter key or you can drag the mouse until the conveyor is in the proper orientation and then left clicking again. Next you'll notice that each conveyor has two green connectors that we can use to snap the assets together. When you're done placing your straight belt conveyors, you can press the escape key. With the conveyor selected, you can now view and change its properties in the factory properties panel. For example, if we want to change the length of the conveyor, we can simply select the property, type in the desired length, and hit the enter key and the conveyor will adjust. One special feature of the assets we provided is that the components will automatically inherit properties they share with the objects they are connected to. For example, if we change the width of the conveyors, the others will adjust automatically. We can build the rest of our work cell by following these same simple steps. First, let's add an inclined belt conveyor. We can even mix and match conveyor types. Let's continue by adding a straight roller conveyor this time. Now you notice that when we place this conveyor, both the legs and width automatically adjust to match the height and width of the incline conveyor. Next, let's add a spiral belt conveyor. Let's use the left one. Now let's change the number of revolutions to 2.75. This will let the conveyor off perpendicular to our straight conveyors. Next, we'll add another straight belt conveyor. followed by a curved roller conveyor. Now let's add a right Y belt conveyor. And a straight belt conveyor to each branch. 